up from Sierra Cates. We are ready to go here on a Friday on the ACC Network. Soon to be joined by Kendall Williams as well. It's going to be a fun one for you here. And started out already pretty well for North Carolina. Engel Brecht, one of the transfers for UNC, starting it out with the kill. And here is Shaftmaster. Big jump top spin serve from Shaftmaster. Swing on the edge, and it ends up being a point for Virginia Tech. Hampton went down the line and came up empty, so it'll be Mangle Duran, the senior for the Hokies from Puerto Rico. Barron. Here's his swing from Pierce. Mangle Duran. Big swing from Malinowski. Got some fingertips, and it's a point for the Hokies. Now Malinowski coming off of her third double figures performance of the season. First against her, an ACC opponent this year with 11 kills against Clemson. Hokies jump up to a 3-1 lead. So the serve continues with Mangle Duran. And the serve is here. Mike Shaw in his second season as the head coach of North Carolina. And, you know, Jake, we were talking about it off air right before the broadcast, but North Carolina, thanks to Mike Shaw, they're having a really solid season. Yeah, I think that server seat issues have really plagued the Tar Heels the last few seasons. Uh, they've resolved a lot of them so far in 2024. We'll see if they can keep that up as the schedule gets tougher. Big block for Virginia Tech. Haley Pierce got in the way. The sophomore playing against the team from her home state, from Charlotte, North Carolina. She's gotten six kills in four straight games for the Hokies. Yildiz, the freshman from Turkey, serves for Tech. Another block recovered. Another swing for Hampton, and this time finds the floor. Yes, excellent set out of system there off the cover ball. Just that one is nice, high, hung up there for Safi Hampton to go up and get it. She's a real high flyer, Bailey, and that time just over the seam of the block. And the edge block was there. Mangle Duran falls to the floor. Kept alive. Isert. Dees lobs the ball over. Here's Isert again. This communication for the Tar Heels. Blocked, recovered, and Virginia Tech converts. That was quite the scramble there, Bailey. Finally ending the way of Virginia Tech and this team headed up by Marcy Byers looking on in the pink in her fifth season. It'll be a big stretch for Virginia Tech here this weekend taking on North Carolina. Right now a team in the top 40 RPI and going up against Duke this weekend as well at 4 p.m. on Sunday. Got a little bit of a conversation here between Mike Shaw and the officials. Uh, Virginia Tech was very clearly in the net at the very end of that play. But the ruling from Dirk Elber, our second official on the floor, was that the ball had hit the floor by the time Virginia Tech netted. Uh, Mike Shaw very clearly disagreed with that, but no challenge. Here's Pierce. Make it Malinowski. Actually, yes, it was Pierce. Another kill for the sophomore. Now, Pier Pier Haley Pierce really swings well from the right side. It's a very natural position for her. Uh, they've, you know, one of the things with her moving to the left side, she's available in the back row. They have her play right back here so she can hit that D ball. Been pretty efficient for them. And right after that, a service error that gives the serve right back to the Tar Heels. 
Bailey, that's two, two service errors for Virginia Tech softly into the bottom of the net. It's one thing to miss serves, but to miss ones that never had a chance, that's going to drive Marcy Byers nuts. And then answered right back for North Carolina. Oh, my gosh. I'll tell you, it's, you know, if you rip a big serve and, you know, it could be an ace if it's in, you just miss it out or wide or something like that. That's one thing, but soft cream puff into the net <laughs> drive you crazy. And Amani Foster able to convert right back for North Carolina. So trading haymakers here. Amani Foster, the grad student that started out at Charlotte. They're teed up perfectly to her here. Yeah, just essentially get her one-on-one -on -one there with Bell Patrick. Jordan Hallman bites on the middle attack. It's a good pass. She's going to have to respect that middle. Foster's able to score against the solo block. And another service error. Now that's one of those, is that one of the misses that you can live with? One yeah, I can like live that? with that. I can okay. live with that, yeah. You have to serve tough at this level. If you don't, teams are going to get good passes. They're going to run great offense, and they're going to score. You have to take some chances serving. But it's one thing to miss a hard serve, nothing to miss a weak one. So here's Walgren. Iser. Point North Carolina. There is Shaftmaster with her first kill of the night. Berent, the sophomore from Wisconsin. Wow, what a block. Engelbrecht got in the way. That's a monster stuff right there for Alexis Engelbrecht. Transfer from Iowa State. You hit low seam, that's going to happen. You challenge that low space between the two blockers. That's very frequently when you get stuffed. So another service error that has kept Virginia Tech back into this one, kept them in the lead so far. Let's see what the freshman can do here for the Hokies and Bell Patrick. That is just blasted too far. That's a change for Bell Patrick. That's the first I've seen her really go jump top this season. Uh, last time out against Florida State, we were getting she was doing a standing float serve, so a little bit more of an aggressive option here. Shaftmaster. Wow. Now well, Shaftmaster is someone who is pretty solid at serving, recently moved into the top 10 in service aces in UNC history. Yeah. And if maybe Shaftmaster, when that serve is good, that serves great. So if it's me, she always, ha always has the green light for the jump top. And Virginia Tech able to recover Haley Pierce. Kills for the Hokies. So now Virginia Tech has jumped up to an 11-8 lead over the Tar Heels. Uh, good pick up there from Jasmine Robinson. Pierce swings high, hard, and deep. Good shot. Back this way, blocked again, Malinowski. Sarah Malinowski has been in the program for Virginia Tech for a few years, and to see her start to produce has to be very encouraging for Marcy Byers. Well, the Virginia native comes up with a big block there. Mike Shaw decides it's time for the eight. North Carolina's Jackie Taylor, the freshman middle blocker, has some NFL lineage that many football fans watching this broadcast likely know about. For more on that, we go to Kendall. Kendall? Thanks, Bailey. That's right. Jackie Taylor, the true starting freshman for the Tar Heels, is the daughter of the late NFL legend, Sean Taylor. She was actually the very first recruit to commit in Coach Shaw's recruiting class when he took over head coach coaching duties in Chapel Hill. When Jackie arrived on campus, she wanted to continue to carry on her father's legacy. Coach Shaw telling us that she has a heart of gold, is someone who always cares a lot about other people and is always finding a way to give back to the community. No question, Jackie has made an impact in Carolina so far, all while also repping the infamous number 21 jersey, the same number her father, Sean, wore throughout his football career. Guys. Thanks, Kendall. And Sean Taylor, for anybody that watched football in the mid-2000s, absolutely devastating that he was lost at just the young age of 24, but made such an incredible impact, not only at the University of Miami, uh, but for the Washington, now Commanders franchise as well. Mike Shaw told us a really interesting story this week when we spoke with him that um, that 
Jackie still gets invited to a lot of the things that uh, you know with with the Commanders and. Tomorrow night, the Commanders are retiring the jersey of the great Daryl Green. And so because they're kind of in the region, uh, Mike Shaw and Jackie Taylor are going to drive up so she can attend that uh, tomorrow night, which I think is really, really, it's a really neat, it's a very neat thing. Yeah. Really awesome to see that, you know, Daryl Green getting inducted. They're celebrating him for the Washington Commanders. You know, Jake, uh, <laughs> Daryl Green came to speak to my high school football team. We're all excited to talk to him. He's an NFL Hall of Famer coming to speak with us. We lost every game after that, and that was not <laughs> Daryl Green's fault at all. <laughs> Meanwhile, North Carolina out of the timeout, gets a kill. And now 15-10, climbing back into this one. And with the Hokies up five, what do you think Virginia Tech is doing right now, Jake? Applying a lot of service pressure to North Carolina and keeping North Carolina out of an offensive rhythm. But Virginia Tech has been very efficient so far, hitting 400 on 10 swings, just kind of taking care of business. It's early, though, Bailey. It's still really early here. Jasmine Robinson. Foster. That's a better set than that. you got to take a swing on that. Blocked at the net, but out of play. Point Hokies. I think North Carolina is clearly the more physical team here. But if you're going to have Barrett having to run all over the court because the passing isn't good, that neutralizes that physicality, that athleticism a little bit. Close to the net for Isert. There's Taylor. And the Hokies go into the scorer's table to no avail. Point Tar Heels. El Patrick, a lot of production in her freshman year. The freshman from Cary, North Carolina, 3.11 kills per set. Now, the interesting connection with Jackie Taylor on the other side of the floor. Her father, Bell Patrick's father, Kevin Patrick, also a University of Miami Hall of Famer. Played defensive end in the early 90s for the U. And the current USF defensive line coach. Takes a certain kind of person to be a defensive line coach, Bailey. <laughs> well, 17 to 12. Yeah, when Marcy Byers signed Bell Patrick back in December of 2023 and she announced she was going to Virginia Tech, she did make the note that Bell Patrick is certainly a coach's daughter. Here's Patrick now. Isert swung at the net, and the Hokies don't have an answer. Turn around play for Engelbrecht. Well, Tar Heels climbing back. Virginia Tech is led by as much as five. Walgren. Now Patrick quickly blocked. That's Foster and Engelbrecht again. A big block there for the Tar Heels to put them at only a three-point deficit now. Again, Patrick hitting low, hitting low seam, close to the tape. You have to challenge the edges of the block, the sides and the top of the block, especially when the double is already there. Woo. A dig in the back for North Carolina. Pierce, Patrick now. There's a swing for Shaftmaster. What a block for the Hokies. Needed it. Needed it in that spot. Virginia Tech a little out of sorts there. Didn't get a great swing at it. Make the play on defense instead. So now the junior from Canada will serve. First year in Blacksburg for Victoria Walgren. A serve that just nicks the tape. Keeps North Carolina in this. That is nine combined service errors in the first set between these two teams. Chelsea Thorpe jogging on for North Carolina. It certainly has been the story of this. Five for North Carolina. Maybe something a little bit uncharacteristic you see out of this UNC team that has one loss in the ACC, only two losses overall, losing to North Carolina State and South Carolina. 
Oh, I love wow. that swing. Wow. Yeah. Now connected on perfectly for Virginia Tech. Momentum certainly there for the Hokies, and now goes back to Bell Patrick. Yeah, just out of system set there to Malinowski, and nobody blocks for Carolina. Shaftmaster cranked one. Virginia Tech able to respond. Engelbrecht gets housed at the net. Jordan Hallman got in the way for the Hokies, and a timeout called by Mike Shaw again for North. It's certainly been an improvement, at least against Clemson, and early on against North Carolina. Yeah. See Bell Patrick there with the dig, pretty much Shaftmaster one on one. You know, Patrick does not a perfect dig, but it keeps it alive, it keeps it off the floor. And then Barrett just kind of misses that set low to Engelbrecht. Yeah, Patrick way up in the middle of the court. It's exactly what you want to do in most perimeter. Team that still trying to improve its resume, 13-2 on the year, off to a great start this season. As for the Hokies, can this be a turning point in the season after starting out 0-5 on the year in the ACC? Can Virginia Tech manufacture a couple of wins here down the stretch as we enter the final month and a half of the season? So Patrick back to standing float serve. Engelbrecht answers after the timeout for North Carolina. Well, that's the danger, Bailey, is I think it's kind of a soft float serve, middle of the court, perfectly passed. Now North Carolina is running middle, and middle's hard to stop. Engelbrecht's able to convert. There's Shaftmaster. Slam down Engelbrecht. And if you're North Carolina and you're trying to make a comeback from down 20 to 16, you have the server you want on the line. It's just really professional kill there from Lennox Engelbrecht. Another tough serve and it'll end up being an ace. Look how Shaftmaster can just change the momentum immediately. Marcy B Utah and has been the primary setter for Virginia Tech this year. She runs out onto the floor trying to protect this two-point lead for Virginia Tech. Hokies have led for most of the first set. But now North Carolina on a 3-0 run. They have their best server on the line right now in Shaftmaster. Aldrin for Malinowski. That lands just out of play. So now it's a 4-0 run for North Carolina. That's tough for Virginia Tech. I think Shaftmaster took a little bit off that one to make sure it was in. Hokey stuck the pass and couldn't find the floor with the swing. Ooh. Andrew Mangle Duran was there. Haley Pierce. That ball's going out. Thorpe now. Barrett, Engelbrecht ties the game. And now you're now you have a real problem because Shaftmaster has got this thing spun up. And that last jump serve was as hard as I've seen a ball serve all season in person. So Shaftmaster now trying to take the lead. Malinowski and the Hokies stifle this rally from North Carolina. Off of the net, and the Tar Heels have taken the lead. Timeout called by Marcy Byers. It was 20 to 15. She has had an area of her game that has improved significantly, and she has looked like a game breaker, at least so far in this first set. Three kills and an ace. And only one ace, but you think about the ones that were still picked up by Virginia Tech. It did make it so the Hokies couldn't get into the attack that they wanted. So now, Virginia Tech down one. Hokies have led the most, most of this set. What will they do against Shaftmaster here? Can she continue this rally to potentially 25 for North Carolina? That's in. Wow. Second ace for Shaftmaster, and it comes at a big time. Seven-point run for maybe Shaftmaster. Virginia Tech has only had pretty much one good pass here. That whole stretch, yeah, that thing's just end line. This one's going to get cranked. Oh. And Virginia Tech comes back, slammed down. Jordan Hallman saves the day for the Hokies and now goes to the bench. Yeah, now, now the complexion of the, of the set is entirely different if you're Virginia Tech. It's a good pass. Hallman, nice quick set, good angle. 
kind of turns that thumb down to go to zone five. See if Virginia Tech can get a stop here, put some points together. And serve from Mangle Duran. Opportunity to convert on the free ball. Asman Robinson, whistle blows. And it's a point for the Hokies. That's yeah, going to be Alexis Engelbrecht in the net there for, Virginia, or sorry, for North Carolina. Exciting close to set number one. That's over. Tip down, point Hokies. Virginia Tech snatches the lead back. That's close, and you can see North Carolina's bench looking for kind of an over call there. But you have a back row setter here for North Carolina. Zoe Barron, she can't jump with that, otherwise it's going to be a back row block. So Pierce just has free run there. And it's an ace for Mangle Duran. Virginia Tech now has set point. Manuel Duran's really struggled to put together a run of serving at any point this year. To rip off four here in a row, is, they couldn't come at a better time. Big swing, and now North Carolina stays alive, fresh off the hand of Safi Hampton. Yeah, so here for Virginia Tech, they're in rotation three. This is Haley Pierce, Jasmine Robinson, and Sarah Malinowski on the right side. If it's a good pass, look for Robinson here on the one ball. Working against Jackie Taylor. Good pass. Still set point for Virginia Tech. Blocked at the net. Oh, and now it is called four. I'm blocked in that situation. I can't see what was going on around the 10-foot line because our, our first official, Wayne Clark, is in the way. No challenge here from Virginia Tech. It looks like the Hokies agree with the call at least. So now tied up, set point, washed away. Walgren. Asmin Robinson dug out by Barrett. Pierce takes the lead back for Virginia Tech. So sad point, here comes a rotation. Handle here, Jackie Taylor's just late to go up. Man, she does a good job trying to get there, but she's a step late, gives Pierce that window. And Taylor worked really hard there after taking a false step. Yildiz to serve. Hampton staying alive for North Carolina. And Hampton flies, man. She, she just kept going up and up on that swing. It's hard to handle if someone's attacking from so high because they can work around the top of your block, the weak parts of your block. Service error. Crucial one for Chelsea Thorpe. Thorpe went for it there. Now, North Carolina's out of subs. So they've been running a 6-2, double subbing their setters in. Uh, looks like they're either at 15 or about to be at 15. So Barron's going to stay in the front row. Thorpe, had, Thorpe usually does not serve. Barron, that's staying alive. And no, a whistle blows. Yeah, so Thorpe usually doesn't serve for them in this lineup. But she has to stay and play back row right now. Short on subs. Walgren, miscommunication. That's not what the Hokies wanted. Barron, Shaftmaster goes over the block. Good dig, that's a great tip. Shaftmaster this time. She went with the finesse earlier, and that time she went back to her bread and butter, Jake. Maybe, maybe Shaftmaster just deciding to go for velocity there across court, earns the kill. Southampton, tough serve here. Okie's had three chances at set point. First chance for North Carolina and the Tar Heels cap off the set one comeback. Points, but then generated offense on the back end. Barrett ready to serve for North Carolina, up one nothing and starting it out with an ace. Take a look at what Virginia Tech did though. We talked about what North Carolina did, ended up being 343 swinging, but then Virginia Tech 250 at the end of that first Set 11 kills for the Hokies. And really really let that, um, you know, Haley Pierce kind of carried them from the hitting percentage standpoint, hitting 545 on 11 swings. Nobody else really producing yet. And a point for North Carolina. That's it. This is not a, 
not a great start so far for Virginia Tech. I mean, it is tough to give up a 20 to 15 lead and then have a couple more set points right. in that set and then, and then kind of blow it. You gotta reset. It's a nice thing about volleyball is you know, they've got to, North Carolina has to win, has to beat you three times. This is a new opportunity to set. It's a good run here from Hallman on that quick one ball behind the setter to back one. Thorpe right there, Mangle Duran. Oh, flying around the court, kept the ball alive. Shaftmaster. Well, Mabry Shaftmaster, that's why we highlighted her at the beginning of this broadcast. She was going to be the difference maker for North Carolina. Five kills already. Is she going to go on another big service run here? That was a big... Part of the reason why they won, and that rally may have to wait. I, if I had a server like that, 13-13 game five national championship point, or national championship match, please go grip it and rip it. Like go, I mean, we're down national championship point, go hit it, you know what I mean? Like that is, that is a, a monster jump serve. And North Carolina maintains its lead here early on in the second set. Hokies trying to figure it out. Maddie May, defensive specialist, ready to go. Walgren, Malinowski, down the edge, point Hokies. I think Malinowski has to be a factor Saw it for Virginia Tech, their last match out against Clemson. She was a huge factor hitting over 400 with 11 kills, four blocks. The Hokies have been looking for that third attacker who not just can uh, get points efficiently, like Jasmine Robinson can do that for them in the middle. But they need someone who can score with volume in a way that a middle's just not going to be able to. Jasmine Robinson misses the mark. So 5-3, Malinowski though, as we were talking about her two kills on the night for Virginia Tech, has gotten a little bit more into the attack for the Hokies, taking five swings so far. Robinson, they're selling out on that one ball, that quick set right in front of the set. He's committing double block to that. She's finding that a little hard to get around. I'd like to see her work more on the slide. Good swing there from Pierce, just nice high swing. Robinson can slide more off a of one foot behind the center. That creates a little bit more space for everybody. Doesn't let North Carolina just pack it into the middle of the court with their blockers. In. Oh, uh, I, okay. So, I didn't, oh, here's a good look. That's it. That's it for me. Yeah. You get it slowed down one more time. Could it be a kill for Foster. It went over her knee. Yeah. Well, that's close. It's yeah. close. But here's the thing. And you know, when you look at systems like Hawkeye, like they're using tennis and Olympic volleyball, and there we go. Call is confirmed. The ball was in. Yeah. It was Carolina's point. Yeah, that ball compresses when it hits, and it compresses a lot. And the volleyball is pretty big, so that. Is very close, but very easy to believe that that is that ball is in. And not only that, call confirmed. Yeah. So six four North Carolina. It's a good swing. It's tough. I think that Pierce is right where she should be too. She's got her foot on the line. It just ends up having to go like over her knee a little bit and catches the line behind her. Ends up being the second kill for Amani Foster. Walgren for Haley Pierce. And Haley Pierce. Trying to cultivate some Virginia Tech momentum. Hope he's only down one. Well, I think that that is a mistake there for North Carolina to not block Pierce out of the back row on that D ball. She hits that well. Don't know if that, if not blocking there was intentional or just a, a blown assignment. Isert beating Shaftmaster. Wow. It's just a perfect pass, one-on-one -on -one against the setter. And we said earlier, like, you got to get up into the court there. You got to be, you know, a little more 
uh, courageous as a defender, be willing to get lit up a little bit because there's, you know, Walgren's just not going to take up a whole lot of space there as a blocker. Haley Pierce attacks Shaftmaster. Back to Shaftmaster now. She's blocked, lands out of play. So Virginia Tech answers. Taylor goes to the bench for North Carolina. All smiles for this Tar Heels team. Like we said, 13 and two on the year. Only losses to NC State as well as South Carolina. It's an ace for Virginia Tech though. Walgren coming off of a game where she had 37 assists against Clemson, now trying to add some aces on the service end. Engelbrecht finds some space. It's pretty clear here that Virginia Tech's service strategy is to work Hampton in service Eve rather than Maddie May or Shaftmaster or anybody else who might sneak back there. It's a lot. It's a lot. If, if, if you go out there as a left side hitter and say, I'm expected to get kills, but I'm also expected to pass like every ball. It requires a lot of mental fortitude. Engelbrecht once again attacks. This time misses, though. So let's see if that strategy remains. And that time going to Maddie May. Oh, good wow. Touch. Good get. Mangle Durant sends the ball over. This time it's Thorpe, and Mangle Duran puts together another dig. You gotta go back to Shaftmaster here. Instead, Engelbrecht, and it works out for North Carolina. What do I know? <laughs> well, Engelbrecht, obviously, Shaftmaster has been the star of tonight's show, but Engelbrecht now with five kills of her own. Make it six now, so tied for the lead in kills for North Carolina with Shaftmaster. A swing and a kill for Safi Hampton. Look out below there for Haley Pierce. She's coming into the court to look for tip and roll. Safi Hampton's like, there's no tip and roll here. We're going hard four to four. There's Shaftmaster put together that big closing rally for North Carolina in the first set. Swung again, and this time it's Hallman. So 10-9. Take a look at this serve here. It's been the story of the night for North Carolina. And that's another kind of iffy toss. You can see she doesn't really follow through all the way into it. She's trying to keep that under control and make sure she's still putting it in the court. And a block solo for Robinson. So Engelbrecht, she's scoring. She's hitting efficient from a technical side. I feel like they're setting her too low, Bailey. Mm -hmm. It's like the third or fourth one that's kind of been in her armpit a little bit. Like you got to make her reach. Ace Hokies. Virginia Tech takes the lead. They're trying to capitalize on a few of those passing mistakes. Back and forth we go here at Castle. Blocked. And no recovery. So Virginia Tech enjoying some momentum here. Will Carolina keep it live or try to call a timeout? Good move here, Pierce one-on-one. -on -one. Good finish. Times that well. Doesn't give Thorpe a whole lot of options. That was six blocks for Virginia Tech. Safi Hampton got it over the net this time, though. Now Jasmine Robinson, she's about eight to 10 inches too far away from the net there when she jumps. So she's reaching forward, and she's long, and she's athletic but she's too far away to really penetrate into the into North Carolina's airspace. That's why you see that ball come down between her and the net. Oh boy. Wow. Teed up perfectly for Thorpe. 
<laughs> look, look, I see. I can see what Sierra Cates is trying to do right there. Send a free ball. Let's put it in an awkward position. But uh, Chelsea Thorpe says thank you. Thank you very much. She she wants Thorpe to have to pass that ball. And Thorpe's like, now nah, I'm gonna just take a swing. Third kill for the former Buckeye. And Carolina takes a lead back. Been a tight matchup here so far. North Carolina won the first set 28-26. Alanowski blocked at the net, but it goes out of play. An offensive story here. North Carolina, 27 kills, hitting 340 so far. Virginia Tech, only 18 kills, hitting 244. Those are improved numbers from what we've seen so far this season. But if those numbers keep up, North Carolina's just going to pull away. Big ace for Virginia Tech. Thorpe. And he's there. Walgren to Pierce. Is it in? No. Point North Carolina. As Isaac runs back on for North Carolina. So the reigning CUSA setter of the year at MTSU. Lone season in a North Carolina uniform. She serves off the chest of May, but Carolina recovers. Rolls home for the Hokies, and Virginia Tech will send us to a break up by one. Really exciting ACC matchup. Carolina up one set to none, but the Hokies lead in set two. To all of those out there fighting, we love you, and we are here for you. Ah, special stuff. Thanks, Kendall. Mangle Duran. Spent four years at Missouri, has really made an impact on this Hokies roster now in her second year in maroon and orange. Here's Pierce. Back and forth we go here in set number two. That's a tough set. The D ball's just a little too, too far inside the 10 foot line. Pierce couldn't quite get there, tips short. You want to lead your hitter there, but you can't lead them that much. Well, Patrick, a little bit more of a quiet night for Patrick here in the second set, and North Carolina snatches the lead back. Safi Hampton has been a major contributor here for Carolina. And, you know, Jake, we were talking about it in a break. She can really fly. Super athletic, but also super skilled. She's a primary passer. And I think she's got shots, too. Shaftmaster. Back around for Pierce and Hampton digs. Swing for Taylor. Patrick now. Off of the tape, Taylor. There's Foster, too far. Nice, oh. nice rally. Virginia Tech might have got away with one there. I thought, thought they had a blocker in the net there on that last swing, but no argument from North Carolina. Ace Hokies. So down the stretch here, can the Hokies close this out? They were up 20 to 15 in that first set. Carolina rattled off seven consecutive points with no answer from the Hokies. Patrick now off of the block for the freshman. So that's that's Virginia Tech there taking advantage of one of the new rules here this year in women's college volleyball is really de-emphasizing and legalizing double years and years. I've seen some middles who are going to be very hard to set in that situation anyway step in. Uh, Cece Crawford in Wisconsin's a great example coming in and setting very confidently because I know the ref's not going to blow the whistle because I'm a middle. So I think it's generated some more options. Well, see what North Carolina can do after that. Hokies benefit off of that new rule. 
It's a big swing for Bell Patrick. As North Carolina faces a Virginia Tech team that has struggled, it's interesting to see what North Carolina can do here because it's going to get even harder, Jake, throughout the season because North Carolina has to face really the meat of the ACC with a lot of ranked teams. Yeah, the back half of their schedule is definitely a, a, a whole different beast than what they're dealing with in September and October. Rookies can't save that. A solid amount of ranked teams, a few of them in the ACC, but the majority coming from the Big Ten. North Carolina is going to have to face off against a few of them moving forward, but with the addition of Stanford and SMU, some teams that are Oh, high in the RPI that have just joined the ACC makes it a little bit more interesting. I mean, SMU has two wins over number one teams this year, having beaten Nebraska, and then right after getting rolled at Pitt, turns around a few days later and wins at home against Pitt. Woo! So coming up against Florida State next on October 25th, and then November 3rd against about, Georgia Tech. How about that road trip? Wow. At Pitt at SMU Friday, Sunday. Uh, that is, <laughs> uh, that, that, it's, the ACC is just having an incredible season. And it's been interesting, obviously, with the national focus with the new teams in the ACC as Virginia Tech adds on to the lead now, 20 to 17. A lot of that focus is going to go to football, but with these Olympic sports as well, between soccer and now volleyball, it has made it ultra competitive with the three new teams in the Atlantic Coast Conference. And as a spectator, I mean, I watch a ton of volleyball. That, that's, it's on all the time in my house. And it feels like every week there's a marquee matchup. Oh, big block there for Jordan Hallman on Shaftmaster. But it feels like there's a marquee matchup every night and so many of them are in the ACC. It's great. And we've got a solid matchup here as Virginia Tech blocks. Best all-around player. But if you can put service pressure on, keep them from being able to set Engelbrecht or Foster or go even go back row to, to Hampton, then you can kind of clamp down on Shaftmaster. This is an interesting serve receive here. You normally go after Shaftmaster because she's a front row outside, but she's such a good receiver right now. I think they're going to keep working Hampton. Monkey's on a 3-0 run. And it's a service error untimely at that. This has been a real Jekyll and Hyde serving performance from both teams. I think you've had runs from both from certain players on both squads who served really well, and then a lot of stuff like that, too. That fall is out of play. Oh, Virginia Tech, I'm not letting this get to 21-20. And then here's the other thing to think about. Next server up for North Carolina will be Mabry Shaftmaster. Long run for Patrick. It goes to Thorpe. Tar Heels within one. Timeout called by Marcy Byers. Yeah, Bell Patrick here gets caught kind of in the middle of the court, helping out on the middle blocker and just loses Thorpe. You can see her, she's looking, her eyes are on the ball. She's ball watching, not checking her right side attacker in front of her. So Chelsea Thorpe just gets to be one on one right here. And Leandro Manuel Duran just, there's, she's got no shot. 48 total points earned. That kills, blocks, service aces. Virginia Tech, even though they have nine fewer kills, have only one fewer earned point. They have more aces, they have more blocks. They're finding ways to keep the match close, in this case, lead, without getting as many kills. Here is Barrett out of the timeout. And it's an ace. Tied up 21-21. North Carolina won the first set 28-26. And for another close one here. Got to do better against this serve. This is not a tough serve. Walgren. Malinowski finds an answer for Virginia Tech. That's it. Manuel Duran gets in there, jumps all over that soft float serve from Barron. And they're able to run Malinowski on this kind of a quick two ball up the middle. Shaftmaster floats against the block. 
Pierce now. Here comes Thorpe. That is out. Oh, we're gonna go. oh it's off of the fingertips. And that call's coming from the down referee, the R2. It's certainly a call that he can make. It just doesn't happen very often. And there's no argument at all from Virginia Tech. So, so tied up, no challenge. And Shaftmaster to close out set two, potentially for North Carolina. Here's Hampton. Barrett now. Thorpe again. Into the stands, Point Tar Heels. Virginia Tech still has a timeout here. They're going to take their second timeout, their final timeout of this set. It was 21-17. Virginia Tech responded with a point, but now North Carolina leads 23-22. Two away from taking a two-set-to-none lead. Take a look at this last swing here for Thorpe. Just high, hard, deep cross court. Hard to block a swing like that. Sets off the net. I think she does a really nice job. That sets like six feet off. Usually you want to be somewhere two to three feet, depending on who your hitters are. But then Malinowski and Hallman are two other attackers. And they're really, truly quick hitters. And you're going up against the best server for North Carolina. To set Malinowski or uh, Hallman, you've got to get a good pass. They're not really out of system hitters. Tough, tough task here for Tech. Got to try and break this serve. Good pass. Good enough. A swing from Malinowski, but it's sky beyond flame court here. So now set point for North Carolina. I like that. So he's getting enough pass to the arcades. Malinowski is a good set. Takes a full swing at it. Misses, but I like I like that approach. Shaft Master trying to end it. Haley Pierce gets it over the net, and Virginia Tech climbs back. That's a beautiful step from Victoria Walgren. I think it's another good pass. It's tight. Walgren's back. Rubber juice her length, her height. Goes up and gets it. Gets Pierce one-on-one. -on -one. They needed that. I mean, they obviously needed that side out. It's the big play there for Victoria Walgren. Thorpe, right-handed swing. Here comes Pierce, pushes the ball over. May now. Here comes Hampton. Is that ball in? Yes, it is. One nice thing is they stopped, both teams stopped missing serves after set one, which is really nice. And that was certainly a story of why Virginia Tech led most of the first set. And that's why North Carolina had such a big comeback to start there at the end. Now the Tar Heels up 1-0 here in set number three. Oh, that's a bomb. Dug out by Shaftmaster Barrett. Here comes Hampton off the shoulder of Walgren. 2 nothing, North Carolina. Man, Sophie Hampton. It's such a tight swing right here. She goes kind of thumb up, cross body down the line for the kill. Again, she is way more than just a high flyer. It's a super technical swing. Oh, into the net, Safi Hampton now eight kills Here's a swing on the night for North Carolina. Here's Hampton. Watch her go cross her body there. She's tucked into the showing cross court with her body and then cuts down the line. Awesome swing. Hampton again, trying to make it nine kills. Diving play, Barrett. Here comes Hampton. Blocked. Big time block for Malinowski. Big block from Malinowski, as we see. And this is Hampton goes right at the right at Malinowski's right hand. Angle breakfast and coverage there, trying to try to dig that ball up and said, hey, we'll get you next time. I'm like, you're not going to cover that one. Interestingly enough, look at that. Nine total blocks for Virginia Tech, as opposed to just four for North Carolina. I think it's kept him in the match, honestly. Maddie May running into the baseline of the basketball court. Chance to convert here for Virginia Tech. Alanowski blocks, and we just talked about it for North Carolina. They didn't have many blocks, but now the Tar Heels get one back from Hampton. Yeah, that's 
Fantastic team defense. Scramble play. Maddie May runs it down. They send a free ball and then get a stuff block coming back. A few things still better. Josh floating over the tape. Walgren now. Pierce. Punch the ball over. No recovery, North Carolina. Well, he's walking in. Freshman from Turkey had five digs against Clemson. Okie's coming off of their first ACC win of the year. Oh, a big weekend at home. That's a tough call. It's an over call. So because the ball, according to Wayne Clark, our first official on the stand, because the ball had not broken the plane of the net, Jasmine Robinson can't go and touch it. She's doing what she should do. She should, she should challenge that, especially the back row setter. It's just kind of a tough call. On a technical side, are you able to challenge that call? No. No. And a block. Taylor is there along yeah. with Imani Foster. Let me rephrase that. You can challenge if the ball was touched. Mm. So you can challenge if the blocker touched it, but you can't challenge if the ball was above the point of the net. Pierce goes off the block to try to get Virginia Tech. Back into this one, it's been close. That's really been the theme we've kept revisiting tonight. It's a critical matchup for both teams. And Virginia Tech certainly has played like it, but can the Hokies close against this team, coached by Mike Shaw? Robinson comes Isaac now. Hampton misses the mark, point Hokies. All tied up at 5-5, Haley Pierce. Icer to Taylor. Just out of play. So they got it wide. North Carolina's looking for a touch. And we're going to get a challenge. Get a look at this play. Uh, it's tough. We're looking for it off of Bell Patrick there on her right or left hand. The call the court has been the oh, time to get a look at this. So the call right now is out, no touch. Oh, this is very quick. That's about as quick of a look as I've ever seen. And okay. it was, wow. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can see Bell Patrick, the blocker number 10 here for Virginia Tech. Yeah, clearly off her okay. left hand. Yep. <laughs> that might be the ACC record for fastest replay review. I think he zoomed in for maybe half a second. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, it's supposed to be quick. <laughs> So it ends up being a good review for North Carolina. And answered with a service error. Sophie Hampton really getting on herself right now after missing that swing on the right side wide, and then she just mishit that, that serve. Kind of came across her body. Might have had a bad ball hand contact there. Play resumes, and she's still talking to herself about it. Isert now. Whoa, Amani Foster. It looked good for Sophie Hampton there. Again, I, she missed that serve. She missed it really badly, and she, yet she did not stop talking to herself that entire entire break right there. Comes back, gets served immediately. Like she has all night. Virginia Tech's been pouring it on her in service. See if she sticks the pass. Foster gets the big kill. That's the way you have to respond from mistakes. You're going to make a lot of mistakes in this sport. You got to be able to respond to them. Another block. Kept alive. 
Wow, what a recovery for Virginia Tech. So North Carolina wants a carry. They want to lift there in coverage. Uh, totally, absolutely, probably should, whistle probably should have been blown for a lift on Virginia Tech in coverage. Somebody got it with like two hands, palms up, uh, but no whistle. It's a judgment call, and it is not reviewable or challengeable. Close to the net for Isert. Here comes Foster. Point North Carolina. All right, tight pass. Eistert goes up as the back row setter. She's a smaller setter, too. Able to keep that thing out of the net. Jordan Hallman kind of gets caught. Is this going to be an overpass? Is the setter, you know, is, is, do you have a chance to get a cheap point on the uh, on top of the tape? And leaves Foster just one-on-one -on -one with a big kill. Shaftmaster now quickly blocked. Malinowski and Holman. Get another look at this one. Yep. Shaftmaster tries to take some sort of tough angle, then an ace here. Quickly on an ace here is Bell Patrick. She jogged back and wanted the ball immediately. Shaftmaster splits the defense, finds the corner. That is so much harder than it looks. That deep set coming from the middle of the court is a right-handed player. It's got to come all the way over your body. It's super high to be able to hit that. Switch it lights up in here that goes right through the TV lights. And then to get a big swing. Awesome execution. Pierce. Loki staying in this one as they have every set. Remember, it was 28-26 set one, 25-23. Virginia Tech has had its moments in this game. Good set. It's just a good set. Barron's able to leave that inside. The, the thing that's going to happen when you're having to run all the way across the court, the left side, offensive left side of the court, you're going to tend to push it wide. Does a good job leaving it inside for Safi Hampton. Hampton just cannot find the swing. Thorpe way too far. And a point for Virginia Tech. A bit of a rally for Virginia Tech now. Hope he's up three. Quickly to Engelbrecht. A dig from Mangle Duran. And it won't land in play. Engelbrecht, and great in the middle tonight for North Carolina. Maddie May now ready to serve. Maddie May runs back, and it'll be a point for the Hokies. Maddie May runs it down when your teammate is pursuing way off the court. You, kind of, you got to go with her. And you kind of want to do it almost, you know, it never works out this way, but you kind of want to do it almost like a line, like a relay. So if she brings it back into the court, there's somebody somewhere on the court who can make the play, send it over. It's a good get by Maddie May, though. Back for Hampton. Robinson now. Thorpe way under it. Walgren to Pierce. Pass for Thorpe. Missile blows. Got Jasmine Robinson in the net. And Robinson seems a bit confused on that call. And Marcy Byers wants a quick explanation. She'll get it, and here comes Isert for North Carolina. An ace for the Tar Heels. The bottom really falls out of that serve there from Isert. And Giotta's got to be a little more aggressive on that kind of soft float. You can't let it get to you because sometimes it just won't. And attack it. Robinson able to whiff it just enough to put it on the floor for Virginia Tech. Up two now. 
That's the second set. It's the second time this set Virginia Tech has run Jasmine Robinson on sort of a back one. One time off of one foot, that time off of two feet. Just moving the point of attack by a couple of feet makes it harder for, you know, for Jackie Taylor to set that block the right way. There's Foster. Maddie May going to the floor to keep the ball alive. Pierce. Isert sets. Taylor with a swing. And it's a point for Virginia Tech that sends us to a break. 15-12, Hokies up once again in set three with the Tar Heels up two sets to This year, Kathy Gregory, a, a real pioneer in a pioneering woman in college athletic administration. Hugh McCutcheon wanted, you know, coach the men and the women for the USA. And the Olympics won the gold medal in 2008 in Beijing with the USA men. And then uh, Barry Goldberg, who was a uh, dear friend of mine and longtime coach at American University, uh, sadly passed away from cancer last year. Uh, really, really well deserved for, for Barry, too, someone else who uh, was a great friend and, and mentor to me and a lot of other young coaches. As that goes out for Virginia Tech. Well, Mike Shaw, when he talked about Joe Segula earlier this week with us, he says the just the profound impact that Coach Segula had on the state of North Carolina where he said when you go to high school games now, there's two JV teams, there's uh, so many, there's a freshman team now because so many people want to play volleyball in the Tar Heel State. And, my, and Mike would know. Mike was longtime director of Triangle Volleyball Club in, in that Triangle area in North Carolina. Uh, coached a lot of great youth players, came out of there. A lot of players won national championships in college coming out of Triangle. So Mike is someone who was boots on the ground for a while uh, in the club game, knew, really knew the impact that Joe had. Mike went to work for Joe the last few years of Joe's career and then took over upon his retirement. Foster over the block. No Patrick. Here's Pierce. Shaftmaster, roll shot. Good job, good get. Here comes Foster again. Shaftmaster oh, pushes no the ball down. Point Tar Heels. Uh, look, Virginia Tech wants a wants a carry there from Shaftmaster. Totally agree. I mean, she took that from almost behind her head, two-handed, and dunked it like. The, the lift carry call, yeah, that's, I'm sorry, that's a carry. That is supposed to be a point of emphasis this year This year in NCAA officiating. Like, at, at, you cannot grab the ball from, you know, almost behind your head and dunk it like a basketball. Well, it's one thing if it's a tip and it's just wrist action, you're just tipping it, you know, just kind of flushing it on an overpass, something like that, but I, I'm, with, I'm with Marcy Byers and her crew there. A lot of Virginia Tech fans stood up after that one, not happy. This time a bit more conventional. That's a great swing. That's an awesome swing. Shaftmaster's had a little bit of trouble here against double blocks so far tonight. Uh, again, she's getting a lot of awkward positions. This time, picks the hard angle, executes. Such a tough dig for Bell Patrick. Eisert under it. Foster. Patrick, it's a tough pass, hits the pin, and a point for the Tar Heels. Timeout called by Marcy Byers. So this has been the point in set one and set two. Tech led 20-15 in set. Can't go kneel on the ball or, or, you know, take time off the shot clock. You have to get to 25. You have to close teams out. And at this level, teams will not roll over and die for you. Well, Shaftmaster, the player we highlighted at the beginning, nine kills. Haley Pierce has been the primary focal point of the Hokies offense. 12 kills on the night for Virginia Tech. Out of the timeout, a tough serve. Olinger, Shaftmaster, tie ball game, 17-17. Man, so Shaftmaster goes cross court with that two-handed dunk. She goes cross court, kind of thumb down, scores against Patrick, and that thing is just a rip. Hard, hard, hard cross. Call that zone four to zone four. That left front to left front swing. Wow. No answer there for Amani Foster. No one was even in front of her. Edgy Yelda's with the 
She's struggled here the last couple rotations through the back row. North Carolina is definitely going after her here. That time, the overpass. They're going to try and slide Patrick out to the backside here, run her on a five on the right. Straight into the air. Waldron passes. Haley Pierce over the back line of Point North Carolina. So typically in this rotation, this is rotation six. Oh, here's the overpass kill here by Foster. Oh, they're going to send her a bill for repairing the dent in the floor on that one. <laughs> Just over the tape. Everything going North Carolina's way. And Marcy Byers tries court and have Pierce squeeze Yildaz here. Just so, like right, right now Virginia Tech is, has three receivers taking equal parts of the court. There's no reason to do that. Get your best passer, Manuel Duran, take half the court. Challenge North Carolina to serve somewhere else. Freshman from California, Aaron Curtis serves for North Carolina. And the Hokies answer right out of the timeout. Something that Virginia Tech has struggled to do in this matchup. And now Virginia Tech is only down two. Yeah. It's a good pass, Meji Yeldas. Good enough, at least. They're able to they run Pierce up the middle on the pipe. She gets the kill off the block. You'll take it however you can get it. They needed a side out desperately there and got one. Victoria Walgren. Junior from Ontario serves. Yeah, Walgren's been serving well tonight, too. Shaftmaster. Alanowski now. Another chance for Foster. And a dig from Angle Duran. Great dig. Another dig. Shaftmaster again. Now she's been a problem all night for Virginia Tech. And now North Carolina jumps back up to a three-point lead. She leads North Carolina and kills with 10, hitting 318 off a, off a bump set here. Just challenges the block. That's maybe not the smartest swing in the world. And she kind of gave a look to her teammates afterwards, I think realizing she got away with one there. Holman. Now Holman, however this ends for Virginia Tech, she's had a couple of highlight plays here tonight. That's six kills on seven swings for her tonight. They need to get her the ball more if she's going to be that efficient. Thorpe. A little bit of space open, and the transfer found it. Right, this is one of those tricky rotations again for Virginia Tech, rotation two. And they're lined up here on Shaft Masters' big serve. Let's see if she lets one go here. Got the toss. Just out. I can see it too. She knew she had a good toss there. And you're disappointed in the moment if you're Mabry Shaft Master, if you're Mike Shaw, but it's like, hey, that's that's the one we want you going after. Absolutely. Still holding on to a two-point lead. Thorpe now. Down the line, Point North Carolina. Got a net as well, so it was. They won that point two ways. So just two away now from a sweep for North Carolina. Gonna make it two wins in a row after that loss to North Carolina State. Just beat Wake Forest. Haley Pierce not done yet for Virginia Tech. And that the numbers are starting to mount here for Haley Pierce. This is her 39th attempt of the match. Good job, Walgren, keeping that out of the net. Pierce just finishes cross court. She has 39 attempts. The next highest player for Virginia Tech is Ro Robinson and Bell Patrick with 15. Wow. Each. Yeah, that's a lot of swings for Haley Pierce. Uh, more swing leads the match by 15 attempts for in all, for all players. We're getting some sort of conversation over here. So Mike Shaw is one. One challenge tonight. If you win them, you keep them. He's getting a detailed explanation. Now, second official, you can see him holding his ear. The first, both officials are have communication with each other via headset. 
So whatever I okay. So I think the conversation was about an overhaul, and uh, they're being told that that's it may not be, well. My guess is that they were looking to challenge something that's not reviewable. Mm. Can't be for can't be sure. They don't let us sit on that <laughs> mic. On that mic. I wish they did. I really do. Hampton now setting up match point for North Carolina. Oh, Hampton has been really animated tonight with all of her successes and a few of those mishaps. But has been such a big part of the reason why North Carolina is a point away from a big victory here. Isert. Hampton going back to Hampton again and puts the period at the end of this one. 25-21, North Carolina wins three sets to none and goes to 14-2.